Do you know those Hallmark movies that make you feel warm and fuzzy? Well, some of that lovey-dovey stuff is actually happening off-screen, too. These actors didn't just fake it for the cameras. They put a ring on their on-screen sweethearts in real life. Some even gave up blockbuster gigs to put their families first. So in today's video, we're covering real-life Hallmark couples' weddings. Off to our first Hallmark couple who proved that opposite attracts. I'm talking about Eric Winter and Rosalind Sanchez, and both of them are still shining bright like diamonds, just as they did when they first met in 2005. And who would have thought, right? I mean, Rosalind had just gotten divorced, and Eric had barely split up with his previous wife, but Destiny had other plans for them. It was love at first sight. Hallmark actors Eric and Rosalind seemed to be made for each other, a match made in heaven. They started dating after a swanky party in L.A., and two years later, Eric popped the question during a romantic kayaking adventure in a bioluminescent bay. And boy, he was more nervous that Rosalind would drop the 4.3 carat diamond ring. How cute, lol. At least he knows its value. Best part is that he ensured it stayed in the box until she said yes. Despite not being each other's first and only spouses, their love story is still so sweet and lovely. Isn't that just heartwarming? So in 2008, the couple finally tied the knot after three long years of togetherness. The ceremony took place in Rosalind's hometown of Old San Juan, Puerto Rico, at the San Cristobal Fort. But don't get too excited because it was a small and private affair, so we barely have any moments from their wedding. Rosalind looked stunning in a princess-style dress, which was hand-embroidered with pearls by Venezuelan designer Angel Sanchez. And Eric wore a stylish black suit from Calvin Klein because you can never go wrong with that, right? Oh, and did I mention that they just had 250 guests? Yeah, they were all carefully selected as if it was some kind of exclusive club membership. The guest list included stars like Eva Longoria, Amori Nolasco, and even Governor Anibal Acevedo Vila and his family. Wow, so impressive. After four years of their picture-perfect wedding, the couple decided to bless the world with their first daughter, Sibella Rose Winter. And after years of trying and going through many fertility issues, they finally managed to have their second child in 2017, Dylan Gabriel Winter. Not only are they just the perfect couple, but they're also business partners. Like, literally so amazing. They even acted together for the first time in Hallmark's A Taste of Summer. Apparently, they just loved working together so much on screen. Here's a glimpse of our romantic couple acting in the movie together. Next up, we have the charming actress Taylor Cole, who found her soulmate while shooting a Hallmark movie. They fell in love on the set of 2016's My Summer Prince. They started off as just friends because, you know, that's how all great romances begin. Cole even tried to play matchmaker and set him up with her friends. Ha! Guess she realized he was the one worth keeping for herself. Indeed, their love story is like a typical rom-com plot. Finally, Taylor Cole and Cameron Larson tied the knot in Lake Tahoe. Thanks to the pandemic, most of their peeps were forced to watch their wedding on a live stream. To add to the charm, Cole's dad had to virtually give her away. And guess what? Instead of a bouquet, she flaunted a phone strapped to her wrist with a blue band. How innovative, right? Cole was beaming with joy and said, It was so 2020 inches. I mean, what else could she have said in such a pandemic situation? So the couple had their hearts set on a big fat wedding, but then decided to ditch the idea because, well... Who cares about waiting when you're desperate to tie the knot, right? And guess what? The guest list was so exclusive that it was practically a solo affair. Just a few people like the efficient, a musician, a witness, a photographer, and a videographer. Oh, and let's not forget the part where they were practicing social distancing, and the efficient probably had to isolate himself before the big day. Phew, talk about a truly unforgettable wedding experience. Despite all the hardships they faced because of the pandemic, the wedding ceremony turned out beautifully perfect. So, you already know and adore Taylor Cole as the leading lady of the Ruby Herring Mysteries trilogy, and other sappy Hallmark flicks like Matching Hearts. But did you know that Larson likes to hang out behind the camera? Yes, Cameron Larson works behind the camera and has produced some of the unforgettable Hallmark films like Love in the Sun and Cranberry Christmas. Larson has been part of the Hallmark family since 2015, starting as a production manager for Angel of Christmas. Amazing, right? Who needs to be on screen when you've got this much power behind the scenes? Moving on, have you heard about Alexa Vega and Carlos Pena Jr.? They got married back in 2014 and decided to become the Pena Vegas. Their love story is seriously like something straight out of a Hallmark movie. You know, those super cheesy romance flicks. And guess what? 
They didn't meet at any film set, but their first encounter happened at a Bible study group in 2012, which was pretty unexpected. And Carlos was actually there trying to win back his ex at the time. But then he saw Alexa and was like, oh, never mind. I want her instead. Smooth move, dude. Finally, they started dating. And less than seven months later, Carlos popped the question while they were on a cruise with his big time rush bandmates. He even designed the engagement ring himself, which is pretty impressive. And the best part, his bandmates helped him with the proposal. Can you say squad goals? So they got married at a fancy destination wedding in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. And apparently it was when they were signing the marriage papers that they decided to combine their last names and become the Penavegas. I mean, why not, right? Well, first of all, I don't even know if what we did it was legal. Uh, <laughs> We, we were uh, signing our paper at the Ventura County office. Uh, well, before that, we always loved the idea of making our names Pena Vega. We right. thought that was so cool. Yeah. And we both come from kooky families. <laughs> so we were like, you know what? If we could have a fresh start and be Pena Vega, let's do it. But we didn't think it was actually possible yeah. legally. Like, Yeah, like we knew that like we might have to hire an attorney and do this whole thing. So we go to the, you know, st- uh, state, whatever, whatever. So we sign the paper and the guy goes, who's taking whose last name? Can you fill it out here? Cool. So we just put Pena Vega. I dropped a surname that my mom had given me too. So I, I shortened my name. She made hers, her name, and we put the paper. And the guy looks we at it waited. and he goes, Pena Vega, really cool. Stamp. <laughs> Since then, they've had three kids. In December 2016, the couple welcomed their first son, Ocean, followed by their second son, Kingston, in June 2019. Their family grew again in 2021 when they welcomed their daughter, Rio Ray. Watch the Pina Vegas dance with the about family values and working together. The couples even acted in a bunch of Hallmark movies together, which is damn adorable. I mean, who wouldn't want to work with their spouse? Plus, they've got some serious chemistry on screen. In here, the actors talk about how they are always ready to make sacrifices for their family. Our big thing is that we go everywhere together. So if he's on a project, I won't take a project. If I'm on a project, he won't take one. So we are literally together as a family all the time. We do miss out on some really great opportunities. Oh, and a fun fact. Back in 2015, they competed against each other on Dancing with the Stars. Yes, you heard me right. They are not just talented actors, but amazing dancers, too. They didn't win the show, but they definitely showed off their dance skills. And with how they're going, I wouldn't be surprised if they end up co-starring in a dance movie together. Overall, the couple is known for their family values and their dedication to putting their family first. They make a great team, both on and off screen. They're a real-life Hallmark movie couple, and I'm here for it. Have a look into one of their movies, Love at Sea, on the location scene. Go. I think we're in the middle of the ocean. We're on a beautiful ship. And true story, my husband and I were engaged on a cruise ship in the middle of the ocean. So, so for us, it's like the it's most romantic perfect. place on Earth. Next up, we have Allison Sweeney, the actress known for her romantic storylines on TV. And guess what? Her real-life love story with her husband, Dave Sanoff, is almost like something you'd see on the Hallmark Channel. Allison has known Dave her whole life, and they've been in each other's lives since they were little. Dave was her childhood crush, and after begging her mom to hook them up, they got married at a beautiful beachside wedding in 2000. They still have a strong relationship after so many years of marriage. While Allison was promoting a movie, which she did with Marlo Thomas called A Magical Christmas Village. She talked to Fox News about why her marriage to Dave has lasted so long. She said it's because he's a fantastic guy. Aw and because they have totally different careers. Even though Dave has appeared in some small parts on her TV shows, they mostly keep their work separate. She further adds that the secret to their long-lasting marriage is that they were honest with each other from the start about what they wanted from life and who they were as people. They grew up and learned together while always being respectful of each other's differences. That's it, really. Sometimes it's just about finding someone great and making it work, you know? Well, Together, they have two kids, a son named Ben and a daughter named Megan. Once Allison posted on Instagram in 2022 to show off some pictures of him and express how proud they are of the young man he's become. And that's not it. In 2016, Allison wrote an essay about raising a daughter and trying to set a good example for her. She's all about focusing on the positives and making Megan feel good about herself. She'll compliment her on how great she looks or how well she carries herself. 
That's the kind of mom goal we all strive for, right? But wait, there's more. Allison's been in the acting game since 1984, which is insane. She's been on Days of Our Lives on and off since 1987, and even hosted The Biggest Loser at one point. Plus, she's been in a ton of Hallmark movies over the years, so you know she's banking some serious cash. Overall, Allison Sweeney is killing it in all areas of life, marriage, motherhood, and career. Did you know 95% of our viewers are not currently subscribed to our channel, so please hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying. The heartthrob from the early 2000s, Chad Michael Murray, is taken, and he's also become a dad. So, aren't you curious about his wife? Well, let's get into it. In 2014, Murray met his wife, Sarah Romer, on the Crackle series, Chosen, Set, and immediately they both fell in love. He once mentioned to E! News that he's a romantic and family-oriented guy who likes to keep his personal life private. Finally, in January 2015, they officially tied the knot, and after a few months, the famous pair welcomed their son into the world. Chad even took to Twitter to let everyone know that they were blessed with the greatest gift from God. A few years later, in 2017, they popped out another kid. Yay, more mini Murrays to run around. This time, it's a daughter who came to complete their perfect little family. And once again, Maury took to Instagram, saying she could hold on to him as tight as she wanted. He's got two amazing women in his life now, apparently. Lucky him and his son, huh? But wait, he hasn't even revealed their names or shown their faces on social media. Most probably it's because Murray and Romer like to keep things private, plus they might be thinking it's best for the kids as well. Well, I guess we'll have to settle for glimpses of their family life. Like when he shared a photo of his daughter snuggling up to him. Ah, that was the most adorable picture of them, Eva. Oh, and did you know that Murray was previously married to Sophia Bush, his One Tree Hill co-star, but they divorced after just a year? He was then engaged for seven years to a Miss North Carolina Teen USA runner-up. Damn pretty messed up, but aren't we all happy to see Murray with Romer now? For 20 years, Chad Michael Murray has displayed his striking appearance and skill as an actor in both movies and TV shows. His most recent 2023 TV series is Sullivan's Crossing, and he has three more upcoming projects, including Mother of the Bride, Fortress 3, and Bad Men Must Bleed. Even Sarah has been killing it in movies for years, making headlines and stealing our hearts with her incredible talent and beauty on screen. We just can't get enough of her. She is best known for projects like Disturbia, Fired Up, and Hachi, A Dog's Tale. The actor doesn't act much these days. She is more focused on giving attention to her family. She last appeared in one movie called Survive the Game in 2021. Well, hoping to see her soon in a series with Murray. So who's your real-life fav couple from the Hallmark Channel? Let us know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, everyone!